Craig Adams here from WeddingFilmSchool.com, and today we have Mackenzie Miller! Hi! Of Mackenzie Miller Films. We shot a wedding, so it's Dana and John's. I thought it was a dope wedding, so I was, I was second shooting. Well, it was kind of like Mackenzie was leading, and then we had uh, Saul. Mm -hmm. who's like, he shoots with you a lot. He does. And uh, so the three of us shot this wedding. And what made it special is the same day edit. How often do you do same day edits? I don't do them that often. Um, I don't really actively advertise same day edits, but if someone comes to me saying that they would like to have one, then I do them. Well, I thought she killed this one, so. Uh, she was off in a corner, like editing for a little bit though. <laughs> Okay, so we're just gonna start playing and talk about the stuff. So cool. you were there early to get some of these exteriors. Yes. So I arrived um, about an hour before we were set to begin prep. Um, it was at the JW Marriott in Central Park South. So of yeah. course, so a lot of beautiful spots for B-roll. Yeah, yeah. And everyone loves dogs. Like I've. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a, a ratio somewhere to like the amount of dogs you have in a same day edit to like just how awesome people love it. Like everyone always claps and loves the dogs, so. This is true. J Dubs. Say, the most significant day in my life, the day we begin our family, and the beginning of our forever is a moment I will certainly preserve. So for prep, like what what were you shooting on? I was shooting on a 50. Okay. Um, and I shoot almost 100% of my prep on 50. Yeah, and she like wields the monopod and uh, yeah. I think you have like a very distinct style. You're not like, are you wide open or are you close to it? Pretty close, um, probably it's like 1.8 here. Yeah, but brides love that stuff. They do, especially with that beautiful light. So I showed up on time a little bit maybe a little bit afterwards but i was i had food poisoning or something i'm gonna be honest that was like the hardest because i was so dying and i did you get a sense of like how bad that food poisoning was you did a very good job at covering up exactly how bad it was yeah. um but you were a trooper yeah so this was a reflection shot always look for those um but you always got to make sure the the glass is clean this is true. So I think I got away with it just a little bit. That dope silhouette shot. And on my Instagram, I posted a photo of like what this spot looked like. You always have the best like brides and grooms and they have like the dopest views outside their hotel rooms. Yes. Like, <sighs> I feel like that there really isn't any better view in New York City than what you get when you're right on the park. Yeah. And every and like we've we've shot in that area a lot, mm -hmm. and I, I just have to post on Instagram every single time you have that <laughs> wide grand view of uh, Central Park. I think I posted like four Instagram videos from yeah. your weddings, all the same like shot. Like I think actually the last time that I was there, I posted the same photo that I posted like eight times <laughs> yeah. and put on my Instagram, sorry. Yeah. I do remember one time, I don't, was it the New York Athletic Club or something, but like we were shooting a time lapse of that angle and someone moved it or something, right? Yes. Like, do you remember that? Mm -hmm. yes. One of the service staff, I think. Of course, it's a conspiracy. So always like this close up, I notice you show the ring. That's like an important thing. Cause mm -hmm. like some people like don't realize that they want to actually see that ring on that day. Right, and I feel like, I mean, a lot of people do beautiful ring shots. Um, that's never been that much of my thing. I like to just try to catch those types of details. Like the ring, More the earrings, the necklace. Yeah, on the Some person. kind of in their, yeah. Yeah. Naturally. And so in years from now, when I'm closer to becoming the man you so undeniably deserve. So this audio we're hearing, was that during the ceremony or what was that? No, so this was actually um, the words that were on his card. Oh, so, so leading up to this wedding, they wanted their same day edit to be kind of like a behind the scenes okay. of their wedding day. Um, I remember you saying You know, more that. natural audio, that kind of thing. But then it didn't really work out that way just because yeah. There were a lot of emotions and things weren't really going. People don't along. realize how much is actually happening on the day of the wedding. It's like hard to do that as much as you plan. Like right. you would need a whole separate day to do. Like uh, it's just so much more. Right. Because I remember you telling me that, and I was like, okay, I can try, but like a lot of that comes from the bride and groom. So like, we'll give. I'll get as much as I'm given. So. Burn. Right. So this was 
kind of what I turned it into is that, you know, him reading this yeah. card that he had written to her. Um, so you did get some of the behind the scenes of things that had gone on earlier, even though it wasn't mm -hmm. really natural totally audio. Work for the same day it is. Also, yes. And your most loving support. Today, I marry you without any hesitation or doubt. Those red shoes. So good. See you at three. Run hard till you eat. John. Can we just talk about how gorgeous she is? Yeah, she's <laughs> so pretty. Was she, she's like Bay Ridge, like they're both, were they from Brooklyn or no? They were, yeah, they're from Bay Ridge. Okay. Um, they Which actually, is where I live right now. Yeah. Grew up together, had known each other since they were kids, um, yeah. but then only started dating recently. So check this, I was living, I was at my apartment in Bay Ridge and this uh, prep was all the way up at Central Park. I don't know if you know much about New York, it was a 50 minute train ride <laughs> in the morning <laughs> And then you'll see later, but the ceremony is at a church that's four blocks away from my apartment. So and then I went, we went all back the way, to the city. all the way to Central Park, fifty minutes, all the way back, fifty minutes, and then you'll see later we went back, back again to Fifty Ninth Street. <laughs> and then after the wedding, I had to come back. So yeah, a lot of fun. traveling. I totally worth it though. What's a common cliche as a girl to wonder if this day will ever come? That dress. To wonder if all of your dreams and ideas about love will actually come true. I can never be- So this church was huge, and I've seen this church biking by it every time, but I've never gone inside. Little did I know that shooting for Mackenzie Miller would you make my dreams possible. <laughs> that I would be Which we'll see this, this totally dope ass slide shot that Saul got. Looking right in the face of my dream. So 70 to 200 for the ceremony. Us, yes. We were certain that we would arrive here together. You have introduced me to the greatest love I have ever known. And today, I am sure that it has always been you. So we got super lucky because they wrote their own vows, um, which doesn't happen that often yeah. in church weddings. Yeah. It's rare. Especially for like, because this was a long ceremony, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. So it's like a Catholic ceremony thing? It was or? Catholic, yeah, it was a full mass, so probably But like, like typically an hour. with especially a Catholic long, they don't do their own vows. Right. So lucky. Yay. Today I'm So these are Saul shots. Mm -hmm. He's not here to defend himself, <laughs> but I But think he they got were it. good. Mm -hmm. He got him. Admit that both Laura and I Cool. So let's talk about this lighting real quick. So this is at Gustavino's. 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 Yes. Yeah, a word I know. So, yeah, that was my first time shooting there. Have you been there before? I have. Um, so, the nicest thing about Gustavino's, other than it just being beautiful, is that they have their own in house lighting and sound team. Mm -hmm. um, that it's are... like a little black box. It's like that kind of mirror that you can't see in. It's like tinted glass. Yeah. Right. So, they're like secret, but it's like a little command station. Yes. Yeah. But they're so nice and professional and amazing. <clears throat> um, so this is all of them. This is all their lighting um, yeah. and their sound, obviously. Yeah. Um, but then we set up a little bit of lighting, or no? I don't I know, because I wasn't I don't out think there. we did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mackenzie was in the back room editing away. Yeah, um, so with the same day edit, it was supposed to show at the end of the night. Um, and then the maitre d' came to me, and he was like, just kidding. It's going to show at 10 o'clock, which was yeah. about an hour and a half before it was initially supposed to show. Yeah. Um, so I told Craig and Saul, I'm not going to be there at all. So I'm so glad that I trust that you. We felt that pressure. Yes. I was like, yeah, let's do it. OK. Um, so there were a bunch of toasts. I think there were like four or five. Mm -hmm. I think there were five. Yeah. But the lighting was perfect. It's so easy once you have a reception that actually knows how to light. Like. And when I'm talking about lighting, I don't just mean like the LEDs up on the side. Because like wedding venues will, will be like, yeah, we do our own lighting. And it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, you don't LED, know what you're talking yeah. about. So we've got a nice hair light, gives a little bit of shape. And then we mm -hmm. have very nice, soft, yet soft uh, fill to set the exposure. Setting him, uh, more important than the background, but we have this beautiful bokeh. Yes. Look at that bokeh-liciousness. Look at that. Yeah. A such proud parent. Oh, and the mic stand, always good. Yes. Because then they know exactly where they're going to be and you don't have to like move all of the cameras around and stuff, so yeah. It was pretty good. So we had that tight. We had a reaction cam on the brood, uh, the brood and groom. Mm. The brood and groom. <laughs> 
and uh, and then I was running around getting reactions. Yep. Yeah. And it, it was looks awesome. And then beautiful. we had like we had a fourth camera that was like between the bride and groom, just like getting this really like really like uh, I don't know. It's like really like cool shots. So. It was like really cool. Well, Mackenzie's in the background, or the back uh, editing. And like, how were you feeling at that moment? Were you, were you like, because it was like pressure. The pressure was on. I right? was feeling very nervous at that moment. Did you trust us though? I trusted you, okay. one hundred percent. Good. Um, but also, I had a few really big gaps in the edit still at that point, and I didn't know what to do with them. Um, and the bride had some specific ideas about what she wanted in the same day edit, mm -hmm. and then one of them being this reading from the ceremony. We had a little bit of an issue with that oh, audio yeah. file. I remember. Um, so I was really nervous because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to fix the file and get it synced and then put that into the edit. So I was trying to find something to put in place of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then also hoping that she wouldn't be upset. Yeah, yeah, because I remember you there. asking about it, and then like we were like, what is up with this file? Because it was acting super weird. It was like a ghost file. Right. Because uh, it would play on the car, on the card, and on the device, but it wouldn't yeah. play on the computer. Yeah, um, I, that was all cool. I've since stuff. sorted it out, but yeah, um, and the pressure. I didn't you just had to like hit it a couple times, yeah. like Back to the Future. I just stepped on it. Um, yeah, because I remember you, because it was like a reading that was like, it was like it was First Corinthians. Yeah, so We've like it, it's but. like that. It's like okay. Cool. It's always the best when dads give speeches. I think they're the most emotional. Yes. I think it's like so powerful when like the dad is like, you're awesome. <laughs> yes, so good. Dana, down the aisle this afternoon. I think I got that reaction. Epic shot from Craig. Oh no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, let's talk about the photographers real quick. I follow them on Instagram now and I haven't unfollowed them, which means in Craig words that like, I like their stuff. Um, they're like, were they Russian or something? They're like Eastern European. I think which so. Doesn't yeah. Matter, but it matters. And they were like awesome. They were crazy though. Like they were crazy unique. Yes, they were super nice and fun yeah. to work with. Um, yeah. But we definitely have very different styles. Um, so it's always a challenge to kind of figure out how you're going to work alongside someone yeah. that shoots a completely different way than you do. Yeah. Um, so for instance, in this shot, I know Craig and the second photographer were trying to get this same shot together. And he followed really far, so Craig only had a couple of seconds to grab this shot. Yeah. Um, without and, the photographer we, in we it, we had communicated beforehand, and like it's under, it's always easier when I know what he's doing and I, and he knows what I'm doing because like I'm, I assume we did, but like I just need four seconds and he just needs one shot, mm -hmm. right? And maybe it would take four seconds to get his shot. That's cool, but. This was a long church, and up till this point, like this was it. Like, right, this is like the just, beginning of the guest. You just took right. what you could. He was like snapping a lot of photos. Right, and then also for you to not be in our shot of mm -hmm. her coming, Craig couldn't go any farther than where he is at this yeah. point. So, which I'm really, I I will work with anyone. I will be the the happy positive uh, person. But like, at that point, I was like, you've been trying to get this one shot for like 15 seconds of her walking down the aisle. I think you can hear it in the clip. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> and then he got out of the way and I got the shot that I was like, Zen, all right. Yes, come I got on, a kick man. out of it when I was editing. We'll do it come live. On, come on. <laughs> so we got but it. But it turned out beautifully. Yeah. And he's gone. Yeah, word. Mackenzie got her monopod shot mm -hmm. with like a 50 or something. I think I was... I don't know if I was 85 or 7200, yeah, I can't remember. She was on the, the 14 millimeter. <clears throat> people kissing. Yay, people clapping. So we went to the high uh, standard. Meatpacking. Meatpacking, yeah. yes, near the standard. Which was kind of cool because like I think they liked the fact that like they were out in the public and like people were like you look beautiful and stuff like oh, that. Oh, totally. Yeah, I mean this is her actual reaction to those people mm -hmm. that were clapping. I yeah. just got lucky in getting both of those shots. So I was on glide cam with a 24 millimeter, just kind of getting whatever I could, mm -hmm. shots that she wanted. And then Mackenzie was getting shots that she needed, mm -hmm. which was on a monopod with your- 85. 85. Yes. Mackenzie is a beast with the 85 on a monopod. It's the best. I think you're wide open here, but like that is such like a beautiful, let's just scrub And with this sequence, sequence, I think that we 
just got lucky because we were both shooting the same thing at the same time. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, she leaned in for that little nuzzle, which was good. Oh. Ah, the nose is so yes. cute. Yeah. So you you totally worked that in, you know that you like you gotta get that sense that she was about that because like some brides mm -hmm. like are kind of annoyed that people are like interrupting to congratulate them, but right, yeah, she was totally into that. And then, um, <clears throat> like I mentioned before, she wanted sort of like behind the scenes, and she had told me yeah. when we met that she wasn't as into the reception being a part of the same day edit, which is why it's very sparingly used throughout. Um, because the guests are already at the same, or already at the reception, so mm -hmm. they know what happened. Um, yeah. But some of them weren't at the church, and then of course they weren't with us in the meatpacking either. So yeah. they're seeing stuff that they didn't know happened. Which totally makes sense. And then once again, we see this awesome lighting mm -hmm. by the venue. Yes. And you like the background lights is are there on the pillars are not overblown too much because usually if you have those up lighting situations like that, like. It, dist it distracts from the subject, but the subject is lit just enough so that the background fades, yet it isn't just flat and dark, so mm -hmm. I like that. It's very pretty. So Mackenzie was on a monopod again with, or no, I think Saul was shooting with like, I can't remember. He probably he had an 85, <clears throat> I think I had 50, and then you were wide. Yeah, so I was gliding around. I'm always like, just doing whatever. Mackenzie's like, meh. <laughs> just go. So yeah, this, this is like, right here this is, is another golden moment because if you watch, yeah. he says I love you and like I didn't know that was going to happen and then it was amazing. Yeah. So like Mackenzie's shallow 85, I love you. <laughs> Boom. So good. So there's nothing it, it doesn't say New York wedding film until you have couples blocking uh, traffic with the cab a, a like yellow cab. Meh. <clears throat> because it looks like it's like oh New York love but like the cab driver you can't tell is like fuck these people he's like actually <laughs> cussing at us out the window yes. probably <laughs> those little moments and year after year I promise to gaze into your still beautiful eyes and relive these precious moments and to always remember what I felt on this day oh they're in love they mark with my grace. I like this man I like, is tearing up in yeah. the background and then I also like when they're actually holding hands like because it's super impersonal when they're just not even touching for mm -hmm. the vows and like a lot of people do that I so. think people just get really nervous yeah, um, and don't know what to do with their hands yeah <laughs> like me right now what, do I, what am I supposed to do with my hands Rick, Rick and Bobby what am I supposed to do with my hands? <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about this magical lens flare on the bottom and the right. Saul will shot this, but... Right? I think I shot that. No, this looks like a Mackenzie shot. Yeah. Because this is her dad. Is this the dad? Yeah. Inception. Mind blown. Dad, couple, lens, lens flares, flare. happy people in the background, great lighting. Lifting her in the air. Doesn't get any Mackenzie, better than that, Mackenzie, people! Mackenzie shot it. And then a patented Craig glide cam Craig shot. Move. <clears throat> I'm always the guy having to do the glide cam, and you know all of the people at the reception are like glancing at me, being like, "What is that idiot doing?" <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like Just water with on it. a rock, like boom. I know I look like an idiot. I work it. Cut. I like it. I like it when you just cut the audio from the clips and then you let the song play out. It's like a good transition to the end. So that worked. Cool. And you did that. Cool. That's it. And that's it. We did it. So it was a lot of driving around. I had food poisoning. It was like the most pain I've ever been in for bride prep because the photographers actually, or groom prep, um, drove me to Bay Ridge, that, that 40 minute uh, car ride. And I thought I was gonna throw up in that car. <laughs> <laughs> I had to open the window and I literally was like, head out the window just in case As anything happened. As the music happened. was like, pumping right weren't they, they playing were, like they electronic were, yeah it was like a russian like edm <laughs> club like no joke the whole way no one said a word it was like a club it was amazing but that was a great experience but i just thought this was a really cool sam to edit thank you and uh it was fun because you know we had the three-person team and just really did a good job yeah it was fun i could not have done it without two other people um as we mentioned before with the timing getting moved up, I couldn't be there for the toast. I don't think I was there for the parent dances. Um, I would kind of pop my head out 
and see, okay, what are they doing? Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then yeah. go back in um, and continue editing. So but we got it done. Do you want to do another same day edit? Someday? Yeah, I do. You do have more booked? Yeah. Um, they're really fun, of course. Mm -hmm. The stress is a lot higher, but um, I ended up booking two of their friends' weddings within like the two or three weeks after. Nice, Benny. Um, so, you know, free advertising. So what do you Especially gonna... for a 300-person wedding. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of people. I want to shoot at that location again, but yes. what would you do differently with the same day edit? Like, how, how are you going to get better or just improve or speed or quality or whatever? Like, any ideas or...? Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely speed. There were a few times when I felt so stressed because I didn't know. I think that I had let the bride's thoughts and expectations kind of drive it a lot more than maybe I should have. Um, mm. You know I was really concerned yeah. with a few spots. Um, but at the end of the day, like they're watching their wedding at their wedding, yeah. and it was beautiful. So the fact that I didn't have those few things um, for one reason or another, it didn't ultimately it didn't end up yeah. really mattering because um, it looked awesome. What she shot was great, and as long as you get it up on the screen, you know we stress out so much, and it's mm -hmm. like the expectations of like the wedding filmmaking community comes with us when we're like putting this stuff out into the world. So you just have to remember that like yes, they want your work, but like it's good they're gonna love it especially for a same day edit so all right cool. so if you want to watch more films like this send me a link about a wedding film that was cool and uh, we'll find the filmmaker and do a little behind the scenes like this but until then thank you for watching this is Mackenzie Miller of Mackenzie Miller Films and she's awesome follow her link down in the description below yeah, follow me. peace out bye